Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple calculator app in App Inventor 2. First, you click Create Apps, so you sign in or log in into App Inventor. Then you should see this screen. Now we will make a new project using the Start New Project. Instead of space, always use an underscore. Okay, so now our project is ready. Now we will add a background image. We will upload a file from your computer. You can get whatever file you want. But I'm choosing this file. Okay, now it's uploaded. Ta-da! We have got our own background image. Now we will make it a line horizontal center line vertical center so this will be used uh, when we're creating the design of the app so how do we do next we want a horizontal arrangement so in app inventor nothing comes exactly uh, horizontal so they don't go straight like for example it's give like I am doing here they instead go vertical like this so rather than doing that you use a horizontal arrangement you make the width is all right height is all right vertical will make it center horizontal will make it center uh, so this will be used as first label second label and also you should know that uh, you should be careful when using a horizontal or any kind of arrangement because if you delete them anything inside them can also be deleted at the same time so now what should we do we will do the exact same thing so this is going to be our second number label so right now we're just preparing to start making the app we are going to make these text colors white and white so and so those are all good now we should make this So this was an example. Now let's do the real thing. We're going to add these text boxes. Text for label one. We will make as first number. Second one will be second number. But they're not exactly evenly spaced out. So I'm going to use a tab. But that doesn't exactly work in App Inventor. So space is a good idea to use for this. Around six spaces at least you should have and it will appear quite nicely. Our hint, this is not needed at all we're so we're gonna remove these hints are gone okay now we will have a vertical arrangement so we will put this we will put a button make that a bit roundy you can see that looks a lot better and we will also be making with a uh, width as a fill parent. Yes, vertical center, horizontal center. A spinner. A spinner of width maybe about 160.
Oh, sorry, 260. Yes, that should be perfect in your app. Almost perfect, so. Uh, now we will have here, we will write what? Um, mathematical operation. Okay, so plus, comma, minus, comma, multiply, comma, divide. Yes, so that's all good now. We will put the selection of mathematical operations. Command C. And now this will be our default selection. These should be bold to make them a bit more visible in this background. And they also look better. We'll make this 16. We'll make this 16. And we'll make one last one of 18. Now, what are we going to do with eight, this one? Well, we are going to just delete all of its text. Now you're thinking, then you won't be able to see the label. But we're going to change what we're going to see in it in the program. So, we will make this enter. Yes. So, we will use the blocks. Now, I'm going to be getting uh, from our enter block, which was the button one, click. So we've got the button one, the click. So now what do we do? So this, whenever the button is well clicked, it will just uh, run anything that's inside this code block. So this is called an event. Now we will get an if block. If then we will be need needing a lot of else ifs. One, two, three. So why do we need this? We need one of the if is for one of the parameters the else ifs are for the other parameters, so plus, minus, multiply, divide, and this is just for the mathematical operation, so it doesn't count that as a value. We'll be needing these joins to make our answer look a bit more better. So, now we will be getting these joins and we will be setting the label so the labels of the label 3 which we made dot text so this will change the text in fact we don't even need these because what we need to do is do control uh, so you just copy and paste it so it will just paste 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 now we've got all of our things ready but without the join we also need one so We won't worry about that we will give it after some time so uh, we will write your answer is inside a text block so this is why we use join because it makes you can join a sentence with another sentence answer well sorry so answer is equal to we'll put a space so the number doesn't just come straight on and we will need four of these 
one for each of these yes join 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 and let's do it join so now what do we do we need the logic operators these are the things that can return true false so if something is well equal to something else it that means it is true otherwise if something is not equal to something else then it's false so we are going to do our selection so do you remember when we at first uh, did with our spinner we automatically default selected it as the as mathematical operation for each of them and this we can use and this we will just throw away but actually we do need four more but actually eight more so this will be used in our operation so right now I will do first I'll make these booleans complete so so if spinner dot selection equals to this text so whatever text is inside this plus control C V oops control C <laughs> so plus minus multiply divide so this is equals to plus this is equals to minus this is equals to multiply and this is equals to divide so if we choose any of the operations that we want then it will appear like that now what do we do we need spinner dot select but instead of these we will be using text box one dot text so we will be using these texts one two three four so but we don't need just four we need eight why is this we need the uh, values from both of the text boxes so we'll make these two 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 yes so now that we are all set we'll use the math plus so these are different so you can't copy paste these because they're in separate blocks whoops plus minus multiply divide so text box one so I'm going to zoom out so you can see oh yes we should have put a text box 2 text box 2 text box 2 one more text box 2 so we also just these are all good one one and oops got a bit hidden beside there isn't it so now what we are doing is that we are going to now just write a simple text 
please write all values. Oh, uh, not value rows. <laughs> Just need to write values. Please write all values. So now we are going to save our project. And our project should be just about ready. So I am going to connect with the emulator because I'm on computer but I do recommend using the AI companion which means that you can on you can get a QR code and you can scan that but I'm using emulator which is a file that will start auto by itself let me bring that into view as you can see starting all the apps this is our app but it will do the work for us as you can see it's waiting for some seconds to make everything run it's a lot slower than the one that is used in the AI companion But it is, uh, it works exactly the same. So there's no need to worry about that. So just like a real phone, we this is how it would look like. And as you can see, everything has come just right into place. So we will say 10 plus 10. What will we do? Actually, let's just say mathematical operations. Yay, it worked. Our else made it say, please write all values. Plus 20. This is great. So now our program is all working. So now let's find out why is this all working. So imagine so we have the spinners dot selection let me make this a bit smaller and go to the side yes now if I see now you can see both so uh, if the spinner one dot selection this is equal to plus so this is this selection if it's equal to plus then it will run this block of code, the one here. If spinner dot selection is equal to minus, so if we select minus, it will run this block of code. Times it will run blick, this block of code. Divide it will run this block of code. And if it's anything, even if it if it's unknown to the computer, so it will just write please write all values. So now we have created our own simple app in MIT App Inventor 2. So thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.